A bit about the Zed character who's coming in, because we've seen the pilot, which obviously didn't have her in it. <laughs> She'll show up uh, in the next episode. Uh, she's a character from the comic books, but for people that don't read comic books, they'll get a good introduction to her over the first few episodes. She, uh, she's got some supernatural abilities, and what's cool about Zed, we want, don't want to give too much away, is that she's got a really interesting backstory, which will lead to a whole possibly seasonal arc of storytelling. Yeah, look, for, any, for anybody who, who, who is a Hellblazer fan and who knows anything about Zed's backstory, don't know where we're going. We're going to be as faithful to that as we can. Uh, for the viewer that isn't initiated, uh, that okay backstory will be yeah. a bit of a mystery. We're going to play it as a mystery, so we're going to play it as a mystery from uh, Constantine's perspective. But we just feel that she's very rich. We feel that as um, someone who can stay in the show with Constantine, uh, especially throughout our first season arc, look, Constantine's a bullshit artist. You he's know? a bastard. And, and he, he's a bullshit artist, and as a sensitive, um, as like sort of a Claire sentient character, she's someone who's, who's a bullshit detector. So she can call him on, on you know, his lies, on, on his games, on his manipulations, and it's something we didn't really feel like the Liv character could do. She was such a newbie, and, you know, she was a little too wide-eyed, and when we really, like, thought about the storytelling, we thought, let's give him somebody who's an adversary and can provide conflict and can really get his face. And, yep. and also have romantic potential, because let's face it, you know, as we presented her, Liv was the daughter of, Je of Jasper, who of was, his like, mentor, his mentor. It would have been weird, weird to go there. Yeah. So, yeah. He must be a fun in cards to uh, tell stories with. Constantine? Constantine? Yeah. Oh my god, so, he's he's so much fun to write for because he doesn't, he's not a cop, he's not an FBI guy, he's not, uh, he he approaches everything in such an idiosyncratic way and he, he's, a, he's just a blast to write for. If you, if you look at the magic, sort of the, the mages, you know, through the ages that have come through comic books or really almost any literary world, oftentimes they're very austere, especially the British ones, they're very Pro austere, they're proper, they're yeah. older. This guy's just, he's a streetwise, you know, warlock is what he is. He's a he's scrapper, a man. he he's was cynical. in a punk band. He's a supernatural grifter. It's like they're, like they're, you know, like what we like to say, if Constantine comes across a situation, you know, he might try to get out of it with magic. If he can't get out of it with magic, he might try and like kick your ass. If he can't kick your ass, you know, then he might try a con. And if the con doesn't work, then he'll turn tail and run. You yeah. know, it's like he's... He, he's just that guy. He, yeah, he's just a guy who's not afraid of... of uh, He's, he's, he's Paul Newman in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, you know, when he kicks that guy in the balls. So, what, yes, yeah. writing for him is fun. Yeah, that kind of comes across. What about villains? I know, like, you're obviously going to have these kind of Demon of the Week scenarios and Constantine has to solve problems. They're not but, all demons. But, okay, but, I mean, <laughs> but are, is, is there somebody kind of that is eventually going to move the bats over the season? Yeah, there is look. somebody behind, even yes. within our first season serialized arc, and there is somebody behind these things that are being released. Yes. And again, if you go back to the American Gothic storyline in Swamp Thing, that's our that's the genesis for this. So we're we're going that's back the to source the source material. material. But also Papa Midnight will be showing up as a recurring character in the first Peter season. Gall um, has been laid in yeah. and will um, he'll have, expect he'll, to he'll have lots of foes, some supernatural, some not. How much will the map guide what Constantine does going forward? Uh, it, it, it's a guide in the beginning and eventually there's a there will become a story reason for why it's not so much after that without being I mean actually by deliberately being cryptic. There's things like that, especially when you're doing a TV show and you know and you're sitting there as a writer and like you want to launch your character into stories and that's what people if you're spending too much time and page count and exposition like how do we get Constantine to get to this place, it, it's a it's a it's a lifesaver. Like to have something like that really just gets us into story and hopefully gets, you know, viewers to a place where they're more activated and our, our, our characters are just right into the drama. So it, it's a useful tool, but we do anticipate fearing away. Eventually. Eventually. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.